So we're going to be looking at uh, uh, urinary system here. They call it urinary system. Um, there's really not that much to look at. We'll be done with this in about 30 seconds. So. That's fine. <laughs> That's a kidney. Oh, I'm looking at an, is this, is this histology? Oh, I'm not looking at histology. I'm looking at human cadavers. But there's not much to look at in histology either. Urinary system. So, um, that was under urinary? Yeah. This is a, this is a kidney. Um, lot, lots of tubing in the kidney. Those are all tubes. I don't expect you to really figure, I don't have it on you. Look at your wish list, there's just not that much there. The real thing that you can tell apart in the kidney are what we call the, um, either the Bowman's capsules or the glomeruli. See those regions? Mm -hmm. They're, that's where the fluid comes out of the blood because what the kidney does is it regulates fluid levels, right? And most of the fluid comes out of the blood in these very specialized, very porous, if you remember from ANP1, fenestrated capillaries, they have lots of holes. Well, you'll see it. It's really a beautiful thing with these amazing podocyte cells around them. But um, at this level, they just look like these balled up capillary regions compared to all the rest, which basically looks like tubing. You know, it's like one giant glandular organ. So I don't expect you to tell the difference between the different kinds of tubes, but that's basically it. That's up close, a glomerulus. Um, so you know, at high magnification, you can see how it's got its own kind of, uh, it's bound by almost a, a little bit of a capsule around it. That's why it's sometimes called the glomerular capsule or Bowman's capsule. And it's a big wound up ball of capillaries in there. Um, that's just <coughs> collecting ducts, you know, where the urine collects lo lots of tubing. You can see they're, they're, these cells tend to be secretory glandular-like cells because they're even moving fluid in and out of those ducts. Um, and that's pretty much what the whole kidney looks like. There's another, well, you folks tell me what's that. Remember the word? Glomerulus, right? Yeah. Or Bowman's capsule. Um, up close. Th that's cutting across some of the ducts. There's not that much else to it. Um, more, more ducts cutting, cut cross section. I'm again not expecting you to tell the difference. Now we're on to the bladder. And the bladder, the distinctive feature is that. Uh, transitional epithelium with the cells all jumbled on top of each other because remember the transitional because it stretches out it transitions as the bladder fills but it has to maintain a seal and so when you look at that and so you've got that transitional epithelium on the surface there and then this is all um, smooth muscle uh, cells down here with very much like the gut that layer of connective tissue that supports the blood vessels there um. <coughs> This is looking up close at the transitional epithelium. All those little epithelial cells like kind of jumbled on top of each other is this the only way I can think to describe it. Um, and this is um, the same thing, just a different kind of stain. I don't know, it doesn't even look like that great a slide to me. There you can see those epithelial cells kind of laying on top of each other. The surface has these umbrella cells that have this sort of sealed epithelial layer on top of them. I don't think that's on your wish list though. And this is the ureter, which has the same, all the same layers as the bladder, really. The ureter, when the ureter collapses down like that, when there's no urine going through it, and then when the urine comes through, it opens up. Um, and on its internal surface, it has a transitional epithelium to let it open up like that, because sometimes there's a pretty quick, you know, volume of urine going through there. Um, and so up close, again, you're going to see that same transitional epithelium on the inner surface of the ureter, and that's it.